Frank the Tank, what's up, buddy? Your son's Crate V50. A little carnage here. And some unexpected company. That's all right. Original tubes are toast. Looks like the, uh, the inboard one. There, I experienced a little uh, overheating thermal runaway. This is not the EL84 version that I was... Uh, thinking of when I spoke to you in person. It's the EL34 version, much more robust, uh, bigger low end, just um, maybe uh, less crunchy, but you know, what's a metaphor among friends? So we're gonna take a peek here and get her cleaned up. I'll um, give you a nice assessment from input to output along with any particular readings and measurements that may be of interest or um, affect our decision-making process. But for now, this will get us going. Uh, for certain, a new pair of EL34s are in order and I do happen to have a pair of those guys on hand so we don't need to wait for shipping. So I'll, uh, I'll get this pup flipped over and uh, we'll have a look at the business end. All right, we are on a business end of that PCB and I'm looking at some screen grid resistors that are intact. And I have located your bias supply. Let me grab a chopstick. Where's my chopstick? I like 50 of them, except for when I need one then they disappear, I'll use this guy. Your bias supply here, um, your, your little filters there and then your potentiometer so we can adjust the uh, the bias range. Just kudos to create on, on a, doing a pretty damn nice job on a circuit board. The components as well. I like it. Boy, doesn't that makes me uh, think a box. And then there's this guy. A little digital processing board for your effects. So hopefully this guy's okay. I am not equipped to. Uh, manage any of the components on this board, save a couple of electrolytics and a, perhaps a rectifier or a regulator if that's what I'm looking at. I haven't, uh, I can't see. But uh, update shortly. Hopefully, uh, we'll just be able to pop in a pair of well matched and new EL34s. Buyers are up nice and warm. Uh, cl you know, obviously, clean, clean some sockets and potentiometers, jacks, the whole thing, and then we'll take some measurements. See what's up. Bye. All right, here we are. Sorry. So, had my first cup of coffee in three weeks and it's actually working. We have her new pair of tubes warming up. On a current limited supply, you can take a peek at the bulb, which is resisting the flow of electrons currently in series with the outlets. That's nice. We don't have a short any further, let's get this thing off. Let's get full wall voltage. Uh, we are going to move her from 110 volts up to, let's bring her up to 120 wall volts because that's, you know, we're getting in the summertime. People's air conditionings are going to be going nuts. We're sitting at 400 plate volts. All right. We're gonna see uh, where we wanna be. We wanna be around 37. That is on the cold side, uh, just under 50% max plate dissipation. Again, huge, huge shout out to Rob Robinette. If you're over on TDPRI viewing us, Rob Rob, I'm looking at you, buddy. I need to get back on there and uh, say hello. It's been a long time. Um, let's see, where's my handy screwdriver? Let's adjust this little potentiometer and see if we can get this plate voltage to drag down with an increase in what plate current. All right, here we go. Nice, Woo, she's a little touchy. All right, I'll put her on 
around 40. Like a warm EL34, you know? All right. That's just about 65% max plate. Well balanced. Look at that. Nice and stable. I like it. Let's uh let's get the volume up. And then you could hear that noise. Very wow, there's a non-existent background hum, just a little bit of hiss from the treble pot over in a clean channel. Let's change channels here. Get the level up. Oh, you do have a master presence pot. That's nice. Let's get our gain up about midway, treble mid, everything on mid. Very nice. Your pots are nice and clean. They don't require me to clean and lube them. It's a good day for the white silicon grease of the world. Holding rock solid, 395 plate volts at 40 milliamps. I'll let it burn in. Um, very happy that your one, two, three, four preamp tubes do not need to be changed at current market prices. That's that's over a hundred dollars, maybe um between uh, for you guys out there, um, between one and maybe one fifty after shipping. That's a lot. But do you remember when the pandemic started, or when a war started in Eastern Europe, or resumed? And uh, the price of one lowly JJ twelve AX seven skyrocketed to like a hundred and fifty dollars. Ridiculous. But um, looks like the bottom is back down on the ground. And we're looking at uh, prices that are just maybe 10% over where they used to be. So, good news, my man. Let me finish going through this amp and uh, taking some measurements, and then I'll get back to you. Oh, Frankie, look who's back, buddy. Nice and shiny. That's how we like it. Look at that. She's happy again. A little, little dust fell around there when I was cleaning her off, but she's all clean back together give her a final cleaning and a final test inside the cab but you know gotta tell you she sounds great already through the old test speakers so let me put her back together this is actually the uh 5112 vfx not to be confused or conflated with the uh, vintage club traditional so she's cool i like it bye Thank you.